Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing um, one of the uh, biomechanical backgrounds and a skeleton on chains. And as you can see, I'm using uh, the last video I've done with blue. Now I'm using red as the base color for the background. I'm starting with the uh, skeleton, uh, the first full white. And following with a grey, so I'm using the white but with less opacity. Colors as always, black and white as opaque and the rest of the colors are candies. So now I'm laying down a little bit of white. So with the black background you get a nice grey tone. And there you have all the cool details in the skeleton. And now I'm doing the background and I'm just covering up the painted area of the skeleton. And so I can do the nice background. And I'm starting with the first grey. I'm just using white again. And just painting this less opacity. Now I'm flipping around the whole thing and I'm putting on the, the other side the mirrored image, mirrored image. The video before this is uh, the uh, biomechanical background number one. You can also use this. Now I wanted to do the red background, so I'm starting with different kind of red. So for the darker version I'm using a little bit of purple. Now I'm painting everything in full red. And as you can see that's the beauty about the transparent colors. Everything what is black in this picture, it stays black. And all stuff that's white gets the, the color. Now I'm using a little bit of black too for the edges of the painting. And also I'm doing a little shadow with the black. And now I'm, there's a second stencil with the highlights in the background. And I'm using this with white again. And then I'm using yellow and red to create some uh, yellow-orange tones. And I'm going to mirror it again on the other side, just flipping around the stencil. So I'm not using the full white with the stencil, but it's enough to, to do some cool highlights. So it could stay like this, but I'm using now a little red 
and the yellow. And as you can see now, get some nice orange yellow tones. And now I'm using the red again for because I like it more in, in the orange tones than the yellow tones. So I'm mixing the colors on the surface. And I'm doing some highlights around the skeleton. And using the yellow again. Now I am using some hot air to dry the surface because everything where there is yellow it takes longer to dry with my colors. So now I'm reapplying the highlight stencil again and I'm just doing some smaller spots just like highlights not everything just a few spots and the same on the other side some cool highlights and putting some yellow over it. Now it's time for to add some paint to the skeleton therefore I'm using like light brown which is 90% yellow and 10% purple lay down the color. I'm also using some red and now I'm using the first stencil of the um, skeleton. So I'm reapplying some highlights. Again, like in the background, I'm not using everything of this stencil, but I'm just doing some small spots. And there you have it. So if you enjoyed the video you can subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up. Bye.